Welcome into the Crimson Tide Connection. Today I'm joined by women's head soccer coach Todd Bramwell. Glad to have you back. Good to see you again, Molly. You finished the weekend 0-1-1. You're able to claw your way back, earn a big point against South Carolina Friday, and then you fall just short of Ole Miss on Sunday. What do you think you learned about your team throughout the weekend? Well, I think this is the first weekend where we uh, had a little bit of a speed block a little bit, just stumbled a little bit, um, came out of the weekend not feeling great uh, about our performance for the first time in a long time. Um, so, we'll, you know, what we'll learn about our team is how we respond uh, going into LSU on Thursday night. Um, but, you know, on, on Friday night against South Carolina, uh, they're a really good team and they came in here uh, coming off two losses. So we know we, we knew we were going to get their best shot and we certainly did. They were outstanding in the first half and um, we were down a goal at halftime. And I was really proud of how our team came out and responded on Friday night in the second half uh, against South Carolina. I thought we really turned the momentum around. Uh, earned a goal off the set piece to tie it up, and then it was really anybody's game after that. But I was pleased with uh, how we how we played in the second half and, and through overtime on Friday night, and good enough to get a you know a point against South Carolina, who is a team that's been ahead of us in recent past. So uh, coming out of Friday night, I was feeling okay. On Friday night against South Carolina, you play your second double overtime match in the matter of a week. What kind of toll does that take on your team's energy moving forward? Well, I think you know at this uh, stage of the season, our team's really fit. Uh, so I'm not concerned uh, about the fitness level and, and the mentality of it. I, I, you know, I don't think our players dread going into overtime at all. Uh, I think you know our record shows that uh, we're undefeated in overtime. You know, so far this season and in, in those matches that we've played. Uh, where I might get a little bit concerned about it coming out of a Friday night is how is that going to affect us against our Sunday opponent. But uh, this particular situation, Ole Miss had also gone uh, through the entire overtime period down at Auburn on Friday night. So coming into Sunday's game, I felt like it was a level playing field. Like you just said, both you and Ole Miss had played double overtime games on Friday. What, what did that do to alter your game plan, if at all? Uh, uh, it didn't. It didn't. We really had uh, total co confidence in our team that uh, you know they had recovered as well as possible. Uh, we we believed that our fitness level was good enough uh, to get through uh, the the grind of a Sunday game, and we're confident in the depth of our team. Uh, you know I think we used uh, six substitutions in the first half of Sunday's game, so we wanted to play a lot of players on Sunday and make sure that we tried to keep the tempo of that game high, and. Um, you know, I think we were, we were able to try to push the pace a little bit, especially in the first 20 minutes of the game where we created some really, really good goal scoring chances. So you head to Baton Rouge on Thursday night, a quick turnaround. We'll have a preview of that game later in the week, uh, but for now we appreciate you being here again. Thank you. For head coach Todd Bramble, I'm Molly Atherton, and that's it for this edition of Crimson Tide Connection.